Hi guys, today I am going to discuss my second project on YouTube audio processing using MATLAB. Go to command window and create new script and here you can write your code. First I will be asking audio read. To read a audio file from your PC you can either give the file location or the file name in WAV or MP3 format. So sys, fs, sys will be the red file name and fs will be the frequency scale. First I am going to play using sound sys, fs command. So this audio is playing. So next we'll go to fast. We can play the audio in the fast format using just fs into 2. We'll just multiply the frequency scale so the time will reduce. Similarly, we can play our audio in slow mode. Just we have to divide frequency field by 2. If we divide frequency by 2, the time will be multiplied by 2. Next, this code is for peak removal. In peak removal, first we will see what is our original graph. So this code is just I have given timeline and the time spaces. After that I have given the plot function, it will plot the original graph of our audio. So this is our original graph. You can see the spikes near 1 and 0.8 similarly on the negative scale. The same spikes we can cut it and we can make our voice softer. This is the code to remove the peak. If we remove the peak, those spikes will get a softer voice signal. So I will run it. So you can see the spikes. You can see the sound pitch has so this piece of code is to play your voice signal in the reverse format this will be a little in interesting as it will be completely flipped so we'll play it The next piece of code is for adding an echo into your basic voice signal. So we can select at what time you want to add echo and what signal you want to eat the same signal I have designed here and the echo signal I will be plotting in this graph. So let us check. So this is the echo signal we have added. You can see the signal peak. It has seen 20. It is reaching near 2. So I have added some echo noise into this. So next thing we'll check with 
filtering if we have a high filter and low pass filter so we can pass our voice signal into those filters and we'll get a smooth output So this is our like this is the input signal and this is the output from low pass and high pass you can just see what the magnitude whichever spikes were there 0 to 0.5 it has reduced nearly by 100 percent 0 0.05 similarly the same programs you can convert into functions and you can design a GUI you can use radio buttons Similarly, I have covered that in last video. You just have to use guide command. A GUI, blank GUI, the same thing. And you can design using radio buttons. The same functions, some 7 to 8 functions I have done here. The same 7 to 8 functions you can give buttons and the output window as a graph. And play button as a speaker you can use. Thank you. If you have any comments or if you need any answers, code, piece of code or any explanation, you can mention in comments. You can share your Gmail ID. Whatever required help is there, I will be helping you guys.